Ready to tap into one of the world's largest marketplaces? With over 230 million active customers and billions of visits each month, Amazon offers a massive opportunity to grow your business and reach new audiences. By connecting your gelato store to Amazon, you'll be able to sell as much as Amazon can throw at you without having to worry about inventory fulfillment, anything. Let's get you set up and selling in no time. Step one, creating an Amazon seller account. To start selling on Amazon, you'll need an Amazon seller account. Visit Amazon Seller Central and sign up for the professional selling plan. Make sure to have the following information ready. Government issued ID, bank account details, credit or debit card, business information, Amazon may take a few days or even weeks to approve your account, so watch your email for confirmation. Once approved, log into your Amazon Seller Central account to access your dashboard. Once your Amazon Seller account is approved, make sure your store is set to sell in the United States. In your Amazon dashboard, navigate to settings and review your selling region. Keep in mind, at this point in time, our integration is for US sellers. Expanding to other regions may lead to additional fees. So consider your markets carefully if you decide to expand in the future. Step two, create your Gelato account and connect to Amazon. If you haven't already, create a Gelato account by visiting the Gelato website. You can sign up for free via the link below. Once your account is set up, start integrating by navigating to the Stores tab in your dashboard. Under Stores, select Amazon from the available platforms. Click on the Amazon icon. Select North America as the Amazon Marketplace region as our integration is currently available in the US. You'll be redirected to Amazon Seller Central to authorize the integration. Log in and confirm the connection. Once authorized, you'll return to Gelato's dashboard with your Amazon store successfully linked. Step three, applying for a GTIN exemption. Amazon requires a Global Trade Item Number or GTIN for product listings. Since Gelato's products don't have a GTIN, you should apply for an exemption. Here's how to apply. In your Amazon Seller Central Dashboard, navigate to the Catalog section and select Add Products. Choose the blank form option and press Start. In the Product Identity section, fill in the product name and select the appropriate category and product type for which you want to request a GTIN exemption. In the Brand Name field, enter your brand name if applicable. For unbranded items or if you're using generic packaging, select the checkbox for this product does not have a brand name. Next, check the box that says, I don't have a product ID. If an exemption is required for your product, a next now button will appear. Click next and complete the application form. If the product is not eligible for exemption, Amazon will notify you and you will not be able to proceed with the listing. Once you submit your exemption request, Amazon will review it and send you a notification via email. This typically takes up to 48 hours you can also monitor the status in your case log within Amazon Seller Central. Once approved, the exemption will apply to all future products of the same type you list. Step four, setting up shipping on Amazon. Setting up your shipping options on Amazon is essential for a smooth customer experience. Amazon automatically sets default shipping rates based on industry standards, but you can create customized shipping templates to match your business needs. Follow these steps to create your own shipping template Update your default shipping address. Log into your Amazon Seller Central account. Click the gear icon in the upper right corner and select shipping settings. Under the general shipping settings tab, update your default shipping address to either your personal or business address. Create a new shipping template. In shipping settings, go to the shipping templates tab and click create new shipping template. You can create up to 20 different shipping templates to match different products or shipping strategies. Name your shipping template. Give your template a clear descriptive name that makes it easy to identify, such as standard shipping, gelato t-shirts. Choose the per item rate model for this template. This rate model will allow you to set prices based on the number of items in each order. Configure standard shipping rates. Amazon will automatically include standard shipping with a default transit time. For gelato products, you'll need to set both a per order shipping fee and a per item fee. Refer to Gelato's shipping and delivery rates page for shipping costs. Here's how to set your rates per order flat fee. To avoid overcharging for the first item, subtract the additional item cost from the first item fee. For example, if the first item fee is $4.66 and the additional item fee is $1.84, the per order fee should be $2.82. Per item fee, 
Input the additional item fee, which in this example is 184. Apply the same rates for locations like Hawaii, Alaska, and Puerto Rico. The standard shipping option is required by Amazon and cannot be removed. Add expedited shipping. If you want to offer faster delivery options, add an expedited shipping method with a transit time of three to five days. You can use the same rates as standard shipping and select item from the dropdown for per item fees. This can be useful for orders within the mainland US where faster shipping is possible. Disable two-day delivery. Amazon may include two-day or one-day delivery options by default. Since Gelato does not currently support these options, be sure to uncheck the two-day and one-day delivery boxes to avoid over-promising faster shipping times to your customers. Save your shipping template. After setting up your shipping rates and options, click Save. Your shipping templates will now be available for selection when publishing your products to your Amazon store through Gelato. With your shipping settings configured, your store is now ready to process orders. You can now move on to publishing your products and managing your listings in the next step. Step five, adding products to your Amazon store. Once you've received your GTIN exemption, you can easily add Gelato products to your Amazon store in just a few steps. Here's how to get started. In your Gelato dashboard, navigate to the Stores tab and select your Amazon store. Click Add Product, and you'll have the option to add a single product or multiple products. For this example, we'll select the Single Product option to enter Gelato's product catalog. Browse through the catalog, then choose your product and start customizing. Use Gelato's Intuitive Design Editor to add your own designs or choose from our range of clip art and customizable patterns. Once you're happy with your design, click Continue. On the next page, you'll be able to select mock-up styles to display your products on Amazon. Gelato offers a wide range of realistic mock-up scenes. You can select your main product image as well as the mock-up style for your variations. Once you've selected your mock-ups, move to the next page to enter the product title and description. Once you've filled in the product details, click Continue to move on to pricing. On the pricing page, you'll see the product cost, shipping costs, and the estimated profit based on your pricing. You can adjust your profit margin based on how much you wanna earn per sale. Use the controls provided to increase or decrease your price as needed. Once you've set the price, click Continue to Review in the top right corner. Double check everything looks okay, then go ahead and publish. Once you review your details, publish your product to Amazon. Please note that it might take some time for your product and product variant images to appear on your Amazon store and in the Gelato dashboard. You can see the status of your product in your store page within the dashboard. Step six, monitoring and managing your listings. Now that your products are live, you can manage them through Amazon Seller Central. Head to the inventory section and click Manage All Inventory to ensure products are properly synced. You can also edit product details like titles, descriptions, and images directly on Amazon. To edit any product listings, click the three dots on the right of the listing and click edit. Then you can access and update any details directly in Amazon. Make sure you review your product and ensure that the correct shipping template has been applied. If you have only created one template, then this will be applied automatically. Once you start selling, keep an eye on your account health under the performance tab to ensure you're meeting Amazon's performance metrics, such as order defect rate and shipping times. Congratulations. Your Amazon store is now live and ready to start selling. Don't forget to check the description below for helpful resources and links to guide you through the process. Thanks for watching and good luck growing your business with Gelato and Amazon.